Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a impromptu video. I wanted to do this video because I know a lot of you were asking me about this. This just released. And we're gonna be doing a first impressions try on with the new Lady Gaga House Laboratories makeup collection. So I bought these myself. When they originally uh, kind of announced this, it was like a pre-order. I think it was like two months ago. I did pre-order them. You had to get them on Amazon. They're exclusive to Amazon and her House Laboratories website. So I went ahead and pre-ordered them and then they started shipping this week. So I saw today that if I let it ship typically, it would get here on Friday. But if, if I canceled my order and did same day shipping, it would be here today. So I went ahead and did that. So I have two liquid eyeshadows, a lip liner, an eyeliner, and a lip gloss. So I have one of everything. There's only four products so far, but I'm really excited to try it out. I'm going to tell you the prices. We're going to swatch and we're going to play around, see how they apply to the eye, the lip, see what we think. So if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I do a ton of trying to make up videos and let's go ahead and begin. So as I said, I got this on Amazon. This is an Amazon exclusive or you can get it on her website. I opted for Amazon because I am a Prime member and typically the shipping is pretty quick. So I would go that route if I was going to recommend this to you, but you can also get it on her website as far as I can tell. So when she first initially launched it, it looked like uh, when you pre-ordered it, everything was in sets. So it was like a lip liner, a lip gloss, and an eyeshadow. I didn't really like that because there were some kind of lip products that I liked, but there was some, you know, eyeshadows that I thought I won't be using. So today I actually got to get things separately. It's a little bit more expensive if you get them separately, but for me, it's... I like to get things separately. I want to get the, sh the shades that I want. I don't want a really deep shade I will never use in terms of like a lip liner with a light, you know, eyeshadow I'll never use. So I went for the ones that really spoke to me. So I'm going to run over the things that I got starting off with her House Laboratories Liquid Eye Liner. So it's like a little play on lie. So it feels nice and weighted. It has a really cool packaging. It's a matte packaging with a silver logo on it. The tip is a, not a brush tip, it's a felt tip. I'm hoping that it has some give because I have some issues with felt tips really um, kind of skipping a little bit. So I'm hoping I don't have this. Upon swatching it, it looks matte and it looks very black. I didn't see a lot of bleeding, which is good. But again, we won't know until we try it out. And I did pay $20 for this. Next up, I picked up one gloss and I picked up the shade Corset, which looks mostly pinky, uh, peachy nude, most neutral. There was a shimmery one that I was interested in, but I didn't know if it would be really sheer. So I thought I would go with the most neutral. It has the same matte packaging and I like that they also included the bottom where you can actually see the shade. So this is called the La Riot Lip Gloss. So this was, I believe, $18. So $18 if you get this individually, which I think is a median price. So I did pick up one lip liner and I was in between a really nude one and then this one which is called Myth. This has a little bit more of like a maroon undertone than I typically go for, but I do like to shade my lips, so I went with this. So the packaging, again, is that matte black with the a silver logo. This reminds me very much of a MAC lip pencil. It is a wooden, you know, sharpable lip pencil. Let me see if I get the top off. So very reminiscent of a MAC lip pencil with the kind of, um, this has like a little diamond angular caps kind of all over the board. You can see just little touches that make it unique. And this was $16. It's called the uh, RIP lip liner or the RIP. I think it's just the RIP lip liner. And then lastly, I did pick up two of her, these are called the Glamata liquid shimmer powder liquid eyeshadows. I picked up a light pink called Aphrodite and then I picked up this is called Glam Attack. This is like a green gold. I think I'm probably going to go with the green gold just because it's more intense upon swatching it. It has a doe foot applicator, very similar packaging to the lip gloss, a slanted doe foot applicator. Interesting um, to me is when I swatch these, these say they're a liquid powder or a liquid shimmer powder. I don't know how these are going to dry down. We're going to see. I want to see if they blend. I want to see if they set, if they flake, all of the things. And these retail for $20 each. So I did order these from Amazon, as I said, and when they showed up, my husband grabbed the package because I was like, okay, can you grab this so I can get moving here? So they came in boxes like this, nothing really crazy, just a, you know, black box that kind of goes up into the shimmer. So everything is really black and um, silver. Why did I say shimmer? Silver. So it's a black silver packaging and it just came in an Amazon Prime bubble mailer. So as you can see, I did use some mattes 
mattes in my crease. I used this 07 Glowing Guava. This is from Kaja Beauty. I will link it down below. But I wanted to do something wearable because obviously I can do some really dramatic looks, but I really want to see for the everyday kind of person how, or the everyday look, how are these going to blend? How are these going to work? So I want to go in with Glam Attack because it's just calling my name. And I want to use the applicator first, and then I'm going to use a brush. I want to see if these blend, if they stick down, if they flake, all these things. So I'm going to wipe off a little bit of the excess and go in. One thing I noticed when I did swatch these is that they are very liquidy. So I'm a little bit nervous on, you know, are these going to kind of smear around? Are we going to get full pigment? So let's just go ahead and cross our fingers. Let me zoom you in even more. All right, I'm nervous, but we're going to go in. Okay, so I've applied some with the applicator. I'm gonna take a Dose of Colors flat brush just so I can get a sharper edge. So now I'm gonna really pack this on. They're definitely intense, but it's a very thin formula. So I'm interested to see how these kind of dry down. I'm gonna take a little bit more to really just kind of amp this up. Okay, that definitely is helping. So maybe you can uh, layer these. So let's go ahead and go in on the other. So I almost feel like you wanna do your outline and then you can kind of layer it. And then I'm gonna build up. I'm curious to see how these will wear. So I want to let this dry completely and then I want to go in and just add a little bit of depth on the outer corner before we go in with the liner. I'm interested to see how the liner will go over this. If it'll be choppy, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm really picky with my liner so I'm hoping that this is a good one. I think it's really dark and black but I just don't know in terms of ease of use. Okay so I deepened up the outer corners and I want to go in now with this liquid liner. So I'm a little bit nervous, I'm noticing that when I touch this side it feels mostly dried down. There's a little bit of transfer, uh, which I don't know because usually these kind of like suction down. This side feels kind of wet still and I'm noticing some creasing. Uh, I don't know if it's because I layered it, but to get the intensity I kind of had to. So we're going to go in with the liquid liner now and I'm going to be quiet and just try to do the best wing I can. Okay, so my first impression is that it's nice and dark and it does appear to be pretty matte. I typically use the Artist of Makeup uh, liner pen, which is my favorite. If I compare these, the Artist of Makeup is a lot smaller, so I do still think that it's easier if you can see the comparison here. I feel like I just have an easier time getting that really thin wing. But I am surprised that this was pretty easy to use. I feel like you need the lightest pressure because again, it isn't the thinnest but I didn't notice any skipping, which is a good sign. And it did go over that liquid shadow pretty well. So overall, I think it's better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was going to kind of just skip and be really difficult, and it wasn't. I just feel like I'm a little bit shaky and trying to really extend the wing. I'm like, oh, it could get really kind of thick. Whereas with a really small point, I just find it easier. But I do like this. I feel like I'll probably use this more so to go over the lash band when I do apply lashes or something like that. So I applied some lashes off camera. They are flutter lashes. I think the Shayla collab, they're a little bit older. But now I'm going to go into the lip liner. I want to see if this is like a stiff formula or really creamy or what I think about it. It looks like a MAC pencil to me, but I wanna see if the formula is different or what I think of the shade. Okay, it's creamy. Wow, okay, it's pigmented. Woo, it's pigmented. It's creamy, but it's not like slipping, if that makes sense. I can't even think of a lip liner that this reminds me of because it's creamier than like MAC or Charlotte Tilbury. I applied a lip stain off camera because I always do that. I really want to apply a lipstick, but 
I'm not going to because I want to see how this looks. So this is the shade Corset. When I swatched it, it feels thick. Uh, it doesn't have a scent at all. Very shiny, but pretty sheer in color. So the gloss feels thick, but it's quite sheer. Um, you can see like really the lip liner is coming through and it's just very glossy. But it's kind of like a mixture of the Fenty Beauty and a MAC lip gloss. It's kind of somewhere in between. It's not as sticky as a MAC lip gloss, but it's definitely a thicker formula. So one last thing I want to do is go in with the Aphrodite Liquid Eyeshadow and just apply a little bit to my inner corner, maybe even my brow bone. I'm going to just put some on the back of my hand and then... It might be a little too pigmented and deep for my brow bone, so I'll just stick to this. All right, guys, here's my finished makeup using the new House Laboratories makeup line from Lady Gaga. So I'm going to tell you my thoughts, starting off with the eyeshadows. So I do like them. I noticed a little bit of creasing, but honestly, they're just like a typical liquid eyeshadow. I don't think that they're as dry or locked down as a lot of other brands. That could be a good or bad thing. I don't feel the tightening on my lid, and they were buildable, but I do feel like they're going to transfer. If you have really hooded eyes, it might be an issue for you. I just see a little bit of creasing right here when I touch them. They do transfer a little tiny bit, but overall I think it's a nice, beautiful formula, very thin, liquidy. Uh, I don't really kind of see the powder that they kind of named it, but they're a liquid eyeshadow. They're not glittery, they're metallic, but they can be sheared out if you want that, or you can build them up to be kind of like full... Um, opacity like I did. Pretty impressed with the liquid eyeliner. I still favor a brush tip uh, like the M Cosmetics brush tip or my Artist of Makeup. I just think it's a little bit easier to use. But this one's pretty black. Uh, the pigment is there. It went over the metallics nicely and it does dry down a little bit more matte than some of the ones that I favor. I just think that the tip is a little bit big. You can still get the wing obviously but I just feel like for ease, I like to use the ones that I'm going to stick to. I'll probably use this more to go over lash glue. So the lip liner is really nice and pigmented. I can't put my finger on what it reminds me of in terms of formula. It's kind of in the middle. It has just enough uh, creaminess to really slide and glide and give you like a good pigment. But it's not like slipping all over where you have no control. So I actually really like this. Shade's a little bit red for me. I might try the nude one next. But formula wise, I do enjoy this. It's very pigmented. We'll have to see how long it lasts. And then last up, the lip gloss. It's a little bit thick, which I actually prefer. I feel like it's going to hang around. I wish it was a little bit more pigmented. It's... It's pretty sheer. I mean, it's not crazy sheer, but I think also because my lip liner is a little bit deep for me and I wasn't, or I didn't allow myself to put on lipstick, I typically would put on like a really nude lipstick in the middle and then apply this, but I really wanted to show you guys what the products looked like. So I do like it. I don't know if it's blowing my mind. I do wish there was a scent. Uh, I like scents in my lip products, like something vanilla, minty, or kind of like fruity, but I think it's a nice lip gloss. I don't know if it's like blowing my mind over any other lip gloss I have, but I do want to try it out more so with like a lipstick underneath. So those are my first impressions on the new House Laboratories line. I'm excited to see what else she comes out with. And I'll play around with these products some more and give you guys an update. Have you picked up any of these products or do you plan to? Let me know down below. I will link everything that I used. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.